Another video, we had another Tequesta historical landmark. There's a Peace Indian Berry Mound right behind me. We're in Western Florida right now. There's Broward County. You have another Indian Mound and no, that's a historical site. That's a that's a Tequesta marker as well in Pompano Beach. That's another Broward County as well. So yeah, the um I'm about to show you guys they they settlement. They was here first, then it was occupied by the Seminoles, but I know them as the Yamasi tribe. So come along with me, and we finna begin the video. All right, I'm gonna have to break the video down. They call it the Peace Indian Mound. Well, actually it's called Peace Mount Park today, the city of Weston. This is a Tequesta Trail, a Tequesta Trace Berry Mound in Western Florida. It's very peaceful and quiet. We are in Broward County, Florida. There are many historical markers throughout the park at this Tequesta location. So let's begin. Let's begin walking this Indian trail. There's another Indian trail and it's a burial ground as well. All right, so we made it to the first marker. This is the territory where they discovered weapons, knives, shark tooth. There was a hunting, hunting and gathering tribe. There's, a lot, there's another landmark right here as well. This is the area where they discovered the, the weapons. There were many other tribes in Florida and throughout the Florida coast, like the Yamasi, the Calusa, the Seminoles. They, like I said before, the Tequesta wasn't the first to inhabit it, Florida. It wasn't the first to be here with many other tribes. But the Yamasi and the Tequesta held ceremonies at this location. The Tequesta tribe were here until 1600 AD, then was occupied by the Yamasi. Today, we know them as the Seminoles, like I said before. But yeah, we finna walk and go to the Indian Mound soon. I'm gonna let you see the markers, the other markers they have. But I'm in Western Florida right now, so I'm gonna get a little closer to this. This used to be a village, but now it's a park. Park now, well maintained. All right, all right, you guys. Like I said before, there were many other tribes that thrived throughout the Florida coast, like the Creek Indians. You had the Seminoles, the Apache. Um, who else? I got to cross that bridge, but I don't want her to be in my video. You had the Apache, you had the Calusa, you had the Miccosukee Indians as well i want you guys to look up the air portal indian mound the miami circle the miami ohio circle but yeah i'm gonna go back and cross the bridge the indian mounds i just named are my favorite indian mounds to visit in miami florida that's the peace burial mound right there in front of me but yeah let's um let's let's walk to this um you know what yeah, let's just continue to walk. I'm just gonna walk the whole the whole Indian burial ground. But yeah, we're looking at the uh, the Peace Burial Ground right now, and they have markers on the ground as well to show you who the Tequesta was, how they ate, how they survived throughout the Florida coast. But yeah, you're looking at the Peace Burial Mound right now. So we finna go to our first marker. This is the first marker. I'm gonna here for a second. If you guys wanted to know how the Tequesta travel, they travel in canoes. That's the answer to that question. But the Peace Burial Mound is right over there. We're looking at it right now. So this is like my second time coming to this historical site. We finna walk up to another marker as well. I'm in Western Florida right now.
All right, this is the second market. This is what they ate. That's the case. They ate turtles, alligators, plants. This is the second marker on the property. All right. So let's keep walking. This video is going to be a little longer than I thought it was. So right now I'm directing the camera to the to the burial mound. All this is a burial mound. Oh y'all almost forgot. I almost forgot to mention that the Kesta believe in many gods like animal spirits and they pay homage to the sun. They pay homage to the sun. Now don't that sound familiar? And when I was doing research on the um on the Tequesta Indians, they were pretty similar from the mound builders in Louisiana. All right, that's Tequesta debt. I read that the, uh, the Tequesta considered they having to be the Port Everglades. So I'm gonna leave this right here for a little bit so you guys can see this. I will be in Tallahassee, Tampa, Orlando. I found another Indian mound in Tampa, so I will be visiting there in July, hopefully. There are gonna be more document and videos I'll share with you guys very soon, but we at the Indian Peace Mound right now. Yep. So I'm just going to walk. I want you guys to see this. And the Tequesta tribe believe their chief was a descendant from the sun god. Okay, this part of the um, Peace Mound right here as well. This whole territory. But I will, I am going to sit out here for a few minutes and have some time to myself before I leave. They come another, they remember you guys, they claim the Tequesta was exterminated, but if you do a little a little more research, they wasn't. They wasn't. They were just outnumbered by the Spaniards and the Europeans that arrived. And the Tequesta believed that the Spaniards and the Europeans was beneath them. I think Tequesta means uh, we are human, you are beneath us. But remember that Tequesta wasn't the first to inhabit the Florida, the Florida coast. Remember that, you guys. See how they fled to Cuba? To the Caribbeans? They never died off. But the Europeans and Spaniards did bring diseases and stuff with them as well. Hope you guys liked the video. They're doing maintenance right now to the park. They always keep this park up. But this part of the Indian Peace Berry Mound. guys so I will have the location below so you guys can come visit as well 
they have alligators out here too so be a little careful and also the chief had married let's say for example the chief would keep the bloodline strong in the tribe they would have to marry their sister so this right here this monument right here showing that the Tequesa pay homage to many gods animal spirits the sun now who do we know pay homage to the sun that's the Egyptians and also the mound builders in Louisiana property point I believe they had a mound that paid homage to the sun as well So look up Property Point, Louisiana. I will be coming back to Louisiana soon. I can't wait for that trip. I'm gonna be ready and I'm gonna be prepared next time. But this territory was later occupied by the by the Yamasi, the Seminoles, as well. I believe they didn't become extinct. That's what I believe. I believe they joined the Seminoles. That's something I would do. But yep, we just gonna walk around the Peace Burial Mound. Remember you guys, this is a burial site. It's very peaceful and quiet out here. Oh boy. Okay, we're coming up to another monument as well. All right, it's another monument. See, the Tequesta leadership, the Tequesta believed their chief known as, I can't say, pronounce his name, but they said he descended from the sun god. from the sun god that what they believe and he married his sister that's what we see today a lot of so-called wealthy family marry into their family they marry their cousin their sister but yeah this is a monument right here hope you guys can see it that's a Tequesta chief all right, that's the Peace Burial Mound once again. I believe there's another marker out here as well. I'm about to head to Treetop Park. That would be another Seminole settlement where Sam Jones thrived. That's a medicine chief and or similar war chief during the second and third similar war i believe but yeah just talking about how to to catch the travel remember i told you guys they traveled in canoes throughout the florida coast and the everglades before they started building there was an everglade now it is a community a resident community yeah, I'm gonna need this here right here. Oh boy. All right. So let's let's continue to walk. That's the bridge I was. That's the bridge you're supposed to cross to come to the Peace Berry Mound. But I didn't want the lady to be in my videos. I believe this is the last marker. All right, we're walking up to the last marker. I think this one's gonna explain the children of the tribe. Yes, the Tequesta children was, let's see. Okay, the Tequesta children were not named until they were six or seven years old. That's pretty interesting. And by the age of 13, they was considered adults. 
look like they playing soccer. That's pretty interesting. I never um hear somebody considered their their child to be a adult at 13 years old. That's pretty interesting. Probably had to grow up quick back in those days. Yeah, but this the last monument. But remember, you guys. All right, guys, but remember that the Tequesta believed the Spaniards and the Europeans was beneath them. But yep, it's gonna be the last bit of the video. I'm gonna show you guys the bridge I was supposed to cross to get to the Indian Mound. All right, that's the last of the video.